Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I do a teardown on an MSI gaming desktop. And in this process, I walk you through what are the things that you can upgrade. For example, your RAM, maybe your hard drive, things like that. Or maybe at a time you want to change your power supply or your graphics card. And I'll explain to you the process on how to do so. Also, I make a separate video the benchmark test result on specifically this MSI desktop and I'll link it in the description below or you can watch the entire video at the end there'll be a pop-up window here on the left side click on that window that pop-up link it will direct you to the benchmark test all right so what I'm doing here is get myself a Phillips screwdriver and remove the two screws so that it can slide the side panel so look for the panel that has the plastic the see-through glass here and then there are two screws one is on the top here right next to the power supply the second one is further down by the graphics card so remove the Phillips screw All right, once you have the two screws removed, go ahead and slide the panel to your left. And that's how you remove the side panel. Here you can pretty much see that the internal built in this MSI desktop. And this is the power supply. If you look at the model, I'll show it to you. It says HA350. And the power supply runs on 350 watts okay so this is a very low end power supply and if you're planning to upgrade to a bigger power supply you can do so by just changing out the regular ATX power supply now it has the 24 pin over here as well as the 8 pin connector on the motherboard I mean I would have done something a little bit better by putting all the cables behind on the other side of the panel rather than everything over on top of the motherboard it just look clutter and prevent the circulation of air from coming in or going out so recommend to remanage your cable in the back of the motherboard now let's take a look at here this is your exhaust fan this fan here would suck out all the hot air and blow it towards the back and this is really small only 80 millimeter fan and there's no intake coming from the front the big empty shelf here is if I you know were to build and reconfigure I would put an intake fan meaning that it will suck in cold air from the front towards the motherboard and maybe the exhaust would just exhaust out all the hot air all right so let's go ahead and talk about the motherboard this motherboard is uh, micro ATX It's a smaller version so you can't actually upgrade to a bigger one I don't think you have enough room to do that so this is the right uh, the smaller version of the motherboard there are two RAM slot and the two RAM slot is already used so the only thing you can do is to upgrade your RAM to a larger RAM I believe this is an 8 gigs RAM so if you look at it it runs on the XPG uh, third-party RAM and this is the regular 8 gigs DDR4 if you look here it says 8 gigabytes 8 gigabytes DDR4 RAM all right I'll link the, I'll have the link in the description below where you can um, buy the replacement part usually I shop on Amazon you can get it from Amazon or eBay and uh, yeah so go check out the link let me reduce some of the lighting i think it's a little bit too bright um, okay so that is that you can go up to 32 meaning that you put 16 on first slot second slot another 16 gigs of ram that would be 32 gigs of ram all right so this is your graphics card it runs on the uh, msi gtx 1660 super it has eight pin that pcie power that you need to power up so just an 8 pin and this power supply here only has the 8 pin uh, power 
you can't change it to additional power like i said the power supply is not enough to power up additional um a bigger graphics card so if you need a better graphics card you need to change out the uh, the power supply to remove the graphics card unplug the uh, the power and the next step is to go ahead and remove all the screws there are three screws here and once you remove the three screws you can go ahead and open up that cable and now at the same time you can take a look here right next to that second ram slot you see this little plastic black plastic cable you need to push it down in order to remove the graphics card so let's get myself a plastic prying tool so i have more room to push it down all right so once i push that little clipper right here you see this clipper you push it down then you can remove the graphics card if you want to upgrade the graphics card you can but you need to upgrade the power supply let's put the graphics card on the side now the next step i'd like to talk about is your ssd drive right this is the m.2 ssd drive you can actually upgrade to a larger one this is a 512 gigabyte you can go up to one terabyte two terabyte regardless how big you want to go to remove that one screw that is a phillips screwdriver here remove the tiny little screw and slide to your left to remove it all right so this is the ada adata 512 gigabyte ssd drive and maybe you want to upgrade to a larger one you can do so and um, yeah and for those of you who are interested on how to clone it meaning that if you have the original here and you bought yourself let's just say a one terabyte m.2 drive and you do not want to fresh install the windows you want to keep original all the programs the data the window migrated over to the new m.2 drive i make a separate video for that check out the link in the description below and also you need to buy this little usb adapter get yourself an adapter get yourself a brand new m.2 drive while this thing is still in the computer now you can clone it over and once everything is cloned over to the new drive and and then you can install and then you can install the one terabyte or whatever the new drive is everything should be migrated over all right so let's put this on the side now this is your wi-fi card and they have the built-in wi-fi and this is a little power that powers up the uh the little pcie wi-fi it doesn't well i'm not sure if it comes with i'm pretty sure it comes with the two antennas and that's pretty much it there's no much room here on the motherboard for you to add on like i said the motherboard is a small size motherboard it's kind of a cheapo motherboard if you ask me right the north bridge heat sink is so small but anyway not a complaint video just want to show it to you what it is okay so let's put the wi-fi back in here now let's talk about if you want to add additional um additional storage can you do that the answer is yes why because it does come with additional additional this little you see how they do the wiring they just stuff it just, just stuff it everything in here they just stuff everything in the front hoping that nobody can see it they just stuff everything right there oh well whatever that is anyway so to move on you have plenty of this SATA cable right so this SATA oh sorry this um, power cable for for your hard drive you can add how many can you add you can add four of them yeah one two three four so what you need to have is it doesn't come with a bracket sorry i'm just talking out loud here um yes you can buy a 2.5 inch ssd drive or maybe if you want to buy 
a three and a half inch um, regular hard drive what you can do is you can slide it in here okay you can slide it in put your screws in okay slide the power cable go ahead and install the little power cable here and go go ahead and get yourself a SATA cable so you do need to buy a SATA cable like this okay go ahead and install them and then go ahead and install it it over over here all right so you can install one two three four you can install four additional hard drive if you prefer and you can do the second one right here by installing this the third hard drive and then get your cable install it over there now once you install the hard drive, you still need to configure in the Windows, right? You cannot just install and not configure because the computer wouldn't recognize it. So you need to go to Disk Management and initialize the hard drive. You won't be able to see it in this video because I'm not making that here. I'm just doing a teardown and show you what the upgrades you can do. But you can make it, I mean ask me how to do it i'll explain to you in a comment below and i'll show it to you on how to uh, initialize your new hard hard disk all right so we talk about adding additional hard drive either the ssd drive or the 3.5 inch you do need to find some screw the hard drive screw to mount it onto the bracket here we talk about ram additional ram that you can add on to right we talk about a cable that you need to buy the set of cable here and then what else did we talk about we talk about a graphics card the power supply so these are the things that we talk about what you can do to upgrade your computer now if you can can you if you're gonna say like if you're gonna ask me can i upgrade for more for more um exhaust fan like the uh, 120 millimeter fan the answer is yes you can actually add it up on in the front here you need to use the zip tie to tie it up um, and what you can do is you can uh, buy a little connector here either the molex connector Yeah, I don't have it with me to show it to you. But I'll link it in the description below. Go check it out. It's a connector that you connect to the SATA cable here. I mean to the power cable. And you split split it off to the regular fan. Uh, where you can uh, uh, hook it up to. So let's just say that you get a, a, a regular fan here. You're going to mount it out in the front right for the intake of the other uh, air now you do need to have the power to power up you can get um the the connector the adapter transferring from the power from here to this connector here if you have the molex you can directly connect to the uh, uh, uh to this power here okay let's move on and that's pretty much it so i'm going to uh stop the video here and if you have any question comment below i'll answer you this question if you find this video is helpful give me a like and do not forget to subscribe and until next time oh yeah check out the link here i'll make a link um that do the benchmark test so click on that that link and hopefully it helps you bye now